Welcome back to Got Fuels Model Car Garage. This is Brian. I just wanted to do a quick update here on the um, 2021 Cancer Awareness Group Build. Uh, last time was a bit quick. <laughs> I, had, uh, I had two videos I wanted to get posted, but um, there's the, how the door panels come out. Also, uh, as you can see, I redone the the, the carpet. Um, I'm sure y'all could hear I was a little disappointed in my flocking. So I, I broke out a piece of uh, my old tried and true method of uh, what they call a disposable washcloth. Glued it down, painted it. Uh, I'm, I'm much happier with that than I was the flocking. I'm going to have to invest in colored enamels, um, you know, in the small tester's bottle. I'm, I'm going to have to get some of those. I just got the engine in. It's probably still wet. Um, that's my first time I've done a fuel line. And while I was there, I went ahead and added a vacuum advance line. So I was happy with that, the way that come out. Did goof and test fitting. Probably still got some wet glue here. Um, my assumption is the engine isn't sitting back far enough, close enough to the firewall. Uh, and going in and grinding after everything's painted, uh, nah, I just, I'll, I'll have to fake it till I make it. My exhaust manifolds are up underneath the cross member. Especially this side. This side's really bad. This side, not so much. So, um, I'm gonna, after my exhaust are so, so nicely painted and stainless steel, I'm gonna have to chop them up. <laughs> I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna fake it till I make it. I've got some pieces of solder here. I, drill, I drilled out the end and then put a smaller piece of solder in there, glued it in. And I'll just have to glue it in there and stuff it and shape it. And then uh, I'll put some heat shrink on it and uh, call it a collector. <laughs> so it'll be what it'll be. I'll get it. I'll be happy enough with it, I believe. And I got my hoses here. I got made up. Uh, and that's uh, Mr. Morris. This is the one that saw a video a while back ago on... Uh, making these out of heat shrink and solder uh, once they're in there they look pretty good i got the body cleared so let's see how well you see the metallic this paint does have a little bit of metallic in it let me let me shine some light on the subject so there is a metal flake to it and I, I took a close look at the, uh, there's a piece of trash right there too. Took a close look at the photo and even, I'd actually just done it with mom. And, uh, you have to look real close. It's an old photo. It's faded. You know, it's, it, it's somewhat color to it, but you know, back then it wasn't much, but the, there's. The sun is reflecting off it real good right there in the corner. And if you was to look real close, you could definitely see there's a, a little bit of metallic flake. So I do believe that, that was the absolute perfect color. She's pretty sure it is. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. A um, little, little rough around the edges. i got a few spots I need to clean up on it. But um, it looks pretty good. I'm also going to rethink uh, shooting the clear coat. Uh, you know, I use an automotive clear coat as a straight four to one mix with no reducer. I'm having to put it on kind of thick and I, I'm losing, I'm losing detail. So I'm going to, I'm going to rethink that mix, uh, thin it down a little bit and go from there. So, uh, that's all we got. Um, I don't know if I'll get much updates done on this, this coming week. I'm going to work on getting some builds for, uh, Acme cleaned up and uh, ready to go so uh, if we get any further by the end of the week we'll get another video posted that's all we got thank you all for watching got fuels motor car garage